Hi, I'm Lee. Uh, I'm a co-owner of, of Love and Regret, and we are located in Brewer's Hill. I find that brunch has always been very strong here in Baltimore, um, just because people are super social. When we started, we always had brunch. The cocktail menu came around as brunch evolved. So three most popular cocktails um, are coffee and cigarettes, drunken tea time, and the artist formerly known as the Smirk. All right, so we designed the name after the iconic um, indie movie, Coffee and Cigarettes that travels around and videotapes celebrities um, drinking coffee and smoking cigarettes. <laughs> so the way this cocktail is made is you, you combine all the ingredients um, in a nice tall shaker with a lot of ice. Um, you stir until the outside is nice and frosty cold and then pour it over um, into a coupe glass neat. All right, next up is our drunken tea time. This was designed on the idea of getting drunk with the Queen of England at brunch. Um, it is a gin-based cocktail, um, gin, and it has um, this awesome liqueur, King's Ginger. It also has a little bit of velvet falernum for sweetness, a egg white, lemon press. Um, it also has um, a bit of Indian-style spices, seven spice, and um, herbal or er, Earl Grey tea. Um, all of those things are combined into a shaker, a high shaker with ice um, and shaken and then topped with a little bit of that seven spice and lemon zest. Last but certainly not least is the artist formerly known as the Smirk. Um, we have dedicated this cocktail to um, the late Prince. Um, so it's had several names throughout the years. It's been on our cocktail menu since we opened. Um, and it was a symbol at one time, the Smirk. Uh, then it became the name, the Smirk. Now it's the artist formerly known as the symbol, the Smirk. Um, it is equal parts gin, elderflower liqueur, egg white, lime press, um, shaken in a tall coupe with a bunch of ice, topped with black pepper and lime zest. I think our guests were looking for something more unique. Um, they definitely came to us for the food, but love our libations. I think the craft cocktail drinker is a craft cocktail drinker all day. They can come in and have a few cocktails um, and just relax and feel warm and welcomed.